Today, you are guessing the ending to some of America's oh. dumbest criminal <laughs> stories. So like the stupidest criminals. Oh, they're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In each round, I will set up the story for you and then ask you to guess the ending. I will present you with multiple choice and if you guess it correctly, I will give you one point. But I will give you a chance to get two points if you can guess the ending without any aid from me. But on top of that, we have a total of 11 rounds today and you can also gain bonus points if you can identify the three Florida Man stories I have sprinkled in as well. Zachary Torrance, 18, robbed four Subway restaurants over four days. He was later arrested, and after confessing to the police, they called it a case of revenge. What was the reason for his crime? I would love that. Somebody just comes into a Subway. Hey! Sandwiches. Give me a spicy Italian. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. I said they forgot an, ing an ingredient. They didn't toast his bread. Oh, see, That's I- That's criminal I, offense I, right I, there. I, 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 <laughs> Foot lungs aren't 12 inches, so he felt cheated and wanted his money back. Um, incorrect though. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> what? But you're oh, incorrect. How? Was he, was he ever the mascot and like that someone kicked juicy. him? He robbed four subway restaurants over four days. What was the reason for his crime? A, he was fired from his job at Subway. B, he was fed up with the terrible customer service. C, he didn't lose weight while eating the sandwiches. Or D, he got dumped by his girlfriend who worked at Subway. D, in whatever Martin chose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going C. Yeah, I'm gonna go with C. Go and C. I'm going C. It's so dumb. Because he said, I bought so many subs and I didn't lose weight. Subway was the healthier answer to other like fast food chain. You're both incorrect. <laughs> Yeah! Correct! Yeah, let's go. Florida man. It's not a Florida man. You know, it can be easy to get upset when your diets don't work, but an Alabama man took things a little too far. Alabama Police man. Police say that 18 year old Zachary Torres was upset <laughs> with Subway Almost when he Florida tried the man. Jarrett diet Super and close. it didn't work for him. Aww. So, like, armed with a gun, he robbed four of the restaurants I mean, that's in not four okay. days. That's, that's After not he okay. was caught, he confessed, he confessed. to police. He told the detectives what? that he had uh, spent a sum Hagler. of money with Subway it, from Hueytown. the, uh, <laughs> from the, the Hueytown, sub Alabama. diet. Hueytown, the, uh, Alabama. Uh, Jared diet, and it hadn't worked for him. And he felt like he should get <laughs> his money exactly back. That is exactly what I said. Armando Colon and Dion Reese ordered two Domino's pizzas. When the delivery man arrived with the food, they threatened him with a gun. They ended up stealing $50 from him and the pizzas before fleeing the scene. What happened next? This sounds Floridian. <laughs> Florida man. <laughs> it is not a Florida uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. I said the exact same thing. They dropped the pizza? Yeah. Uh, Martine, they stopped running to eat the pizza and got No! Uh... <laughs> uh, delivery driver enacted vigilante justice, tailing the criminals and calling the police. <laughs> they did not drop the pizzas, uh, no. Dang it. She's gonna Incorrect. No! <laughs> so what happened next? A, they bragged about their robbery on social media. Oh, no, girl. That seems pretty standard to me. B, they went to the Domino's store to complain about their order being wrong. Please. C, they ate their pizza in what turned out to be the police station parking lot. Or D, they shot their finger while eating pizza. Shot their... Three, two, one. B. B. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> same brain, same brain. Mm. We picked the same answer again. They ate in the parking lot, bro. It's incorrect. Dang it. You're both incorrect. No, no, no. Is it A? It was definitely A. It's not A. Okay, thank goodness. It's D. D they shot, they shot themselves. Their finger off? Armando was eating his pizza. He had the gun in his hand. The bullet went off and it grazed his finger. So they rushed him to the hospital to attend to the wound. And that's where they confessed to their crimes. What about the pizza? <laughs> Joshua James, 24, was charged with assault with a deadly weapon with no intent to kill after he threw this in a Wendy's drive through window. Okay. Florida man. Florida, Florida man. Huh. No. Smells Floridian. <laughs> it is indeed Florida man. Yeah! <laughs> I know That's that why I... That's stirred memories. Yes. You, you were there. It is in fact a Florida <laughs> man. <laughs> Three, two, one. Chili. Yeah. Alligator. What? It's Florida Man. 
knife. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> I said a dildo. A dildo. That's great. Both of you are incorrect. <laughs> Shocker. That is incorrect. Dang it. A, a frosty. B, an alligator. C, a raccoon. Or D, his family's dog. What oh. the hell? Oh, damn it. So it is an animal. Three, two, one. B, the alligator. I think it's B or D. I'm gonna say alligator. Jamie, you're correct! <laughs> no way! Correct! Yes! yes. See you later, Mario. Correct! Yes! yes. Uh, Absolutely. He threw a three and a half foot alligator into the window. See, three he told and you. a half. Not that big. Foot. What do you mean? Yeah, that's like not that big. You could go like. Well, yeah, you can, but <laughs> why do you have the alligator in the first place? Well, Jay, uh, Josh James' parents are telling us that uh, he is an outdoorsman and that uh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, Strength. was his idol, but above all, they say no. he is a prankster who meant no harm. Uh, Yet, what? Florida Fish and Wildlife no says that. James grabbed a roughly three and a half oh, foot alligator hurled through the drive-thru window. The Florida Fish and Wildlife was far from amused. I hope he got a frosty. A man was wanted by the police and decided to go into hiding to avoid being caught. Unfortunately for him, he ended up giving away his own hiding spot. How did he get caught? I'm thinking like Google search how to get away with crime. Three, two, one. What'd you say? He radioed into the police. Going live. Remember those old days when you could like check in check to places in. on Facebook? Yeah, yeah, it's like Chris is at Wendy's with an alligator. Um, you're both incorrect. Oh, you both are incorrect. Both of you are incorrect. <laughs> How did he do it? A, he let out a loud fart. B, he said bless you when an officer sneezed nearby. That's cute. Ah! Oh. Ah! Please. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. He forgot to silence his phone and received a call, or D, he meowed, hoping that they would think he was merely a stray cat. <laughs> it's like, the fart is so good, the bless you is something I would absolutely do. Yeah, I'm gonna say D, criminals are dum-dums. It's so funny. Yeah. Did you draw a picture? It's your day. Um, <laughs> B. Bless you. <laughs> that is incorrect. No! <laughs> You're both incorrect. <laughs> Correct answer is A. He farted! Ah. We got him! <laughs> it smells like a whole lot no. of carbon. Police officers in Missouri were able to no. snip out a suspect no. who was wanted you for can't a do that. out of Clay County. This is too much. Oh my God. <laughs> so okay, good. the Clay County Sheriff's they Office. They can't even stop laughing, dude. They if shouldn't have thought that. Oh, they were just like, it smells so bad. Smell so so bad. Yes. And you have to pass uh. gas so loud, it gives up your hiding spot. You're definitely having a poop emoji Oh, they're day. walking. Oh Can you my imagine? God. That stinks. <laughs> Leroy Bridgman, 57, and Marcy Young, 61, attempted to steal jewelry from a jewelry store. They tried to make it to their getaway vehicle by going down a stairwell. But when they realized the stairwell didn't lead to the garage, they decided to take the elevator. What happened next? I said they got stuck in the elevator. All right, so, go ahead. They hit the emergency button. Wow, you wrote a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah. very descriptive. Elevator got stuck and emergency responders said to come help them leading to their capture. Brian, I'll give you two points for that. Let's go! Yes! You both are correct. Yeah! Anthony, you are actually correct. Oh my God! <laughs> Good job. Suspected jewelry thieves caught in an elevator. Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies found a couple of people stuck in an elevator with more than $80,000 worth of jewelry hidden in the ceiling. 80,000 in the ceiling. 57 year old Leroy oh, Bridgman, Leroy. who eventually kicked the glass to get in, cutting the back of his leg. Investigators oh say his accomplice is 61 year old Marcy Jeez. Young. She stayed in the lobby during the robbery to clean up the blood. Okay. As police they arrived, the pair they, like, they had like some they sense. They were like, first, let's but could clean not some find access up. to the garage oh, where their getaway God. car had been parked, so they jumped into the elevator and got stuck inside so on the bottom floor. Two thieves attempted to rob a bank's drive through ATM. <sighs> <sighs> they had tried to access the ATM's cash box, and in the process of doing so, they accidentally set the money on fire. <laughs>
It's not a foot. <laughs> <laughs> now my question to you is, what item or items did they use to burn through the ATM? <laughs> it, they're dumb. They're gonna blow up themselves and the ATM. <laughs> they're dumb. Uh, you said? Hairspray and like a lighter. You know how you can like- Oh, blow torch it. Yeah. Okay. You both are incorrect. You're both incorrect. Um, uh -huh. So what item or items did they burn through the ATM? A was a blowtorch. Mm. B are fireworks. <gasps> C a Molotov cocktail. Or D a homemade bomb. Three, two, one. A. But did we choose the same oh, thing also again? B? You're both incorrect. Dang it! You both are incorrect. What? <laughs> Dang it! You are both incorrect. <laughs> It is a blowtorch. The most, the like, most obvious. Forward. Good for them. Or, no. no, not good for them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not, never mind. <laughs> so Donald Chip Pugh, 45. Donald, excuse me? That's his full name? His nickname is Chip, was wanted by police because he failed to appear in court on a DUI charge. Police had posted an old mugshot of Pew on Facebook asking for tips on his whereabouts. Donald was not a fan of his mugshot, so he took to action. How did he get caught? So he like Oh my god, that's funny. He commented with a new picture that he preferred, giving up his location in the process. Basically the say, yeah. I said uh, he commented on the post. Incorrect. No! Yes. You both are incorrect. Oh. Dang it. As I mentioned, Donald was not a fan of his mugshot, so he took to action. A, he went to the police and asked for a new mugshot. Oh my god. No. B, he sent the police a selfie to replace the old one. C, he made his mugshot into a meme and posted it on social media. Or D, he called into a radio station to complain about his mugshot. It's D. I'm gonna go with ah. Correct! Oh my god, I am! D! No! <laughs> He's so dumb! He called into a radio station to complain. As there was two... <laughs> possible choices you could have made. Not only did he call a radio station to complain about his mugshot, but he also sent the police a selfie. Actually, Martine, you are the closest. I'll give it to you. <laughs> yes. I can't believe they posted myself that they my mugshot. Him? I sent them a selfie, but they just didn't accept it. Attention fugitives, if you're on the run, don't follow the example of 45-year-old Donald Chip Pugh, who didn't like the mugshot on his wanted poster. Awful picture, awful picture. So much so, he sent police Here's a, a selfie to replace the terrible. mugshot, and then, apparently, picture. called a popular radio station to discuss the whole thing. Wow. Man, I, they, they, they just gave me wrong, man. That's a way worse mugshot. Right? Round eight, Dusty Mobley, 40, was trying to avoid Dusty who? What? It is a Florida man. I got it. it is indeed a Florida oh man! Yes! Florida man. It is a Florida man! <laughs> Dusty Mobley. Dusty Mobley, 40, was trying to avoid police trying to serve him warrants. He was not successful in his attempt when he tried to outrun them on what? <laughs> I like yours. Unicycle. Heelys. Oh, dude! <laughs> He's like, you can't catch me, coppers. <laughs> Razor scooter. A children's electric car. And both of those answers are incorrect, though. Dang it. If you say one of you is right, I I will be so thrilled. I wish I could, but no. Oh. <laughs> what did Dusty use to make his escape? A, a donkey. B, a paddle boat. <laughs> C, a lawnmower. Or D, roller skates. He tried to John Deere them. <laughs> Three, two, one. C. C. B. B. <laughs> and I put C. C. I'm choosing lawnmower because I'm like, it would be ridiculous for somebody in Florida to try to get away on a lawnmower. lawnmower. So the correct answer is C. Yay! Martine, you are correct. <laughs> it is C, lawnmower. Because <laughs> that seems too smart. Smart how? Uh, when, when do you think you're going to go on a John Deere? Get clipped. Tuscany County deputies Dusty. say Dusty Mobley put a John Deere mower in high running, gear sir. to try to outrun the cops. They shouted at the man to stop before tasing him. Not the Mobley little guy. gotten away from the authorities yeah, in January by diving a into a swamp. <laughs> as deputies then tried to talk to him about a stolen He's boat. He's so swampy. Round nine, here we go. Dennis Hawkins, 48, wanted to rob a bank, 
but first thought he needed to don a disguise that could help him blend in with the crowd after his crime. It turns out his costume needed to be thought out a bit more as he was easily identified by police. Hysterical. What was he disguised as? Three, two, one. All right, you said... Santa Claus. <sighs> Santa Claus. Mariachi. <laughs> Ma mariachi. I said they caught him because he was dressed in a dress and a wig. You are both incorrect. You both are incorrect. So what was he disguised as? A, a clown. Mm. I was about B, to say a woman. <laughs> C, Bob Ross. Or D, a police officer. Three, two, one. Clown. A. Oh, no. Uh, you were both incorrect. <laughs> You were both incorrect, oh, so. Damn it! Anthony, I'm gonna give you that point. Okay! Dennis Hawkins decided to disguise himself as a woman. <laughs> no! The police he's chief not, in no, Swissvale, no. Pennsylvania, calls him one of America's dumbest criminals, and there are plenty of reasons. Police say 48 year old Dennis Hawkins went on a crime spree that ended with him getting caught literally red handed. No! First, they say Hawkins stole a BB gun from a Kmart. He then went to a citizen's bank dressed in a wig, fake breasts, and clown pants. <laughs> the tellers weren't fooled by the disguise. He Why? Has a, he has a goatee. A friggin' goatee! Douglas Kelly, 49, called 911, and that call landed him in jail. <laughs> what did he call the police about? That was faster. It is a Florida man story. Oh, it's good. Anthony, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, during a home invasion, he got shot. Said it was a failed robbery, so he called for help. Tried to burgle a home, got shot, called 911. Bang. You are both incorrect, though. Uh, that is incorrect. I feel like that has to be real, but that is not it. Ugh. So what did he call the police about? A, to report the drugs he purchased as fake. B, to complain about an argument over a video game. C to report the car that he had previously stolen as missing, or D, to complain that the McDonald fries that he had ordered were cold. Three, two, one. I said C. C. D. C. A. Well, Martine, you are correct. Yes. yes. Uh, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dang. Authorities say a man no, called a man. and asked him to test it. the meth he had bought mm. because he had a bad reaction. The to the drugs. Not the meth The Putnam test. County Sheriff's Office says 49-year-old Douglas Kelly of Hawthorne, Florida, <gasps> oh, wanted detectives to test God. the meth because he oh, wanted to press charges okay. on the person who had sold it to him. Detectives told Kelly if oh he God. brought the drugs to the Sheriff's Office, they would do just that. He did. Oh. They arrested and charged him with possession of meth. Did he, does, Matt, did he not realize that meth was illegal? Uh, so um, I guess his home was dug less after that. <laughs> MacArthur Wheeler robbed two banks in broad daylight without a mask. He even smiled at the surveillance camera on his way out. When police came to his house to arrest him, he was in disbelief. Why was he shocked? He was dressed as the Joker. <laughs> oh, 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 no. No, that one's correct. Yeah, he, no, that one's it. That's for sure invisible. it. <laughs> And you thought the cameras were fake. Uh, both of you are incorrect. Martine, you're, you're really right. good with these. No, she's not, right? No. Ah, she a, he thought that because he was so confident that no one would bother him. B, he assumed robbery was only illegal when done at night. He thought he was invisible. <gasps> D, he worked for the same bank, meant no harm. He just wanted to see if robbing them was easy. Three, two, one. It's got to be C. He thought it was invisible. He D. Cassie, you are correct. Yeah. What? Yeah. C. I knew it. This man crazy. Martin, you're correct. <laughs> no. But let me go ahead and tell you why he thought he was invisible. Because of the meth? MacArthur Wheeler told police he rubbed lemon juice on his face to make it invisible to security cameras. He knew that lemon juice was used as an invisible ink, so logically then, he said lemon juice would make his face invisible to cameras. <laughs> All right. So, Brian, you are our winner for today's episode. Let's go. <laughs> oh, good job. But like, by like one or two points, like that was close. Yeah. I, I know, Curious I that. know how dumb people think. Seeing as how I won, yeah. I would just like to advise to all the criminals out there, don't be from Florida. You're already setting yourself up for failure, babes. Sure. I, I, I really can't give you any advice because I'm not a criminal, 
But if I was to give you any advice, hey, real quick, don't. Thank you for all of the laughs that you have given us today. Be well.